Here we are at the Razor TSL. This is the round of four, day two. We have JF against Brat OK. The Russian Terran monster spawning on the top right with Terran. JF in the bottom right with Protoss. Now, uh, these are pretty close spots, and they're tied up 1 1, so this is a very important game. The player who wins this is going to have a couple chances to put the other player away. So, uh, you know, with these close positions, I think it, you know, it's a little bit better for Brat. Yeah, for sure. We saw what JF can do on the cross positions. He waited for Brat to push all the way across the map and then basically just said, uh, whatever, I'll just counter you and ran across the entire map, forced Brat all the way back and of course the time loss was just too much there. Uh, um, this is a little better for JF than say Dreven where the natural cliff faced uh, Brat. The, the natural cliff of JF is over here at the west side so Dr uh, Brat won't have easy access to it. So that is one little thing that's in JF's favor but of course if, the, if we do see a slow push here or even some sort of FD build, it, it'll just come that much quicker given the positions. Yes, it will. And uh, I'm, I'm interested to see how Brat opens here. You know, we've seen him open dropship here, I believe, against Dreven into Expo. So, you know, I'm wondering if JF, you know, he has to know that already, of course. So, you know, is Brat going to really switch his play up a little bit here? Maybe we'll see a two-fact rush or something like that. I think that could really catch JF off guard. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just want to take, while well, the action is a little slow here, we see JF's probe moving. It's going to scout him on the right side, or on the uh, first try. I just want to take a minute here to uh, thank NetWars.pl, who noticed that there was uh, a little problem in the replay and in, in the spoilers, and we have taken care of that, so you will not be able to figure out who is the winner based on who leaves the game. So uh, thanks for that, and we've, uh, we've patched that up. We see the probe coming in, and Brat passes it, lets the probe in, but he's already got his gas, so that probe is just going to be able to do uh, harassment, not going to be able to, uh, to take the gas of Brat. Now, as many of you may know, Othello, you can't really wall in, but we see Brat almost walling in. It's like a half of a wall in. And, uh, you know, the reason he's doing this is so that he just has a little hole to run that Marine through. If, if Zealots do come, he can use these buildings, micro around them, and really harass that Zealot, give it a lot of damage. And I'm sure we're going to see that pretty soon because Jeff is making that Zealot. In the meantime, his probe is just causing a lot of trouble for Brat. So annoying. He's got one SCV way down on health. Brat's already been repairing it. And look at this. Is he going to get it? No, it doesn't look like it. Jeff's going to have to run out of there because the Marine is out now. But no, he's going to run it around, make the Marine chase it while his Zealot walks up the map from the bottom. And uh, if that probe is still alive when the Zealot gets there, the probe is definitely going to help out on his harass. Yeah, just very annoying drawing the Marine away and then and then uh, getting the Zealot right in. Of course, the Marine can't hold the ramp. Uh, it's very imperative for Brad OK to deal with this probe, but it looks like he's just chasing it. Second Marine out now. Is he going to get drawn away to the corner? It looks like it. The, the Zealot is halfway up now. Uh, Jeff doing a beautiful job here, just keeping this probe alive. Now it looks like he's going to draw him away behind the cliff. Wow, that is very cheeky. Going to send the Marine back, but Brad is smart. He's only sending one Marine. A lesser player would have sent more. Very nice play by Brad. Now here comes the Zealot. It's going straight for the, uh, the SCVs, it looks like. He's uh, just, oh, now it's doubling back. Brad is instantly pulling those back. Very nice micro by both. Uh, and he's got an add-on coming, and JF says, well, that's not working out, and just backs right off. Uh, and the proxy factory? Wow, looks like Brat is uh, is doing exactly what you said, a two factory, but he is proxying that second factory. This is a very nice play by uh, by Brat, and it, it's going to catch JF off guard if he's not careful. Yeah, I think this may catch him off guard big time. And look, he is getting a robotics facility right away. Now, whether he's going for a quick reaver or quick observers is going to make a big difference here as to how much damage this push does. I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, maybe one tank or two tanks with some marines and vulture rally. So if he's going for an extremely quick reaver, he may be a little bit light on units. He may get his ramp busted. So uh, it's, it's going to be <laughs> a little bit luck-based here to see, you know, how well Jeff does against this he's gonna have to really micro hard because uh, oh look at that he is getting a second add-on so it may actually be a tank heavy rush and that's a strong strong rush especially against a uh, quick robo if Jeff has his robo or has a reroute he will have uh, basically impunity with those shuttles but uh, if the Marines get taken out, I mean, it's really going to come down to micro, and it's really going to come down to unit composition. If JF, oh, we see a shuttle coming out, so JF is not going for observers. He's going for reavers. We're going to expect to see this uh, support bay very soon. Uh, 
unless he's going for zealot bombs no there's the support bay and brad is it looks like he's ready to come out he's sending the barracks over and he's got a tank coming out of one factory a tank coming out of the second factory jeff spots the second factory that is huge he knows exactly what's coming now he can see the tanks rolling out he can see the marines coming he knows he needs to get this reaver out right away or he is just basically going to get his ramp busted let's see what brad okay can do with this attack yeah, this is about to get really exciting really fast. It's going to come down to a very micro-intensive game. And this Reaver is going to play a huge part in it. Because if this Reaver gets out, the tanks will not have Siege Mode. He's getting Spider Mines and he's getting uh, Vulture Speed. So he is not going to have range over the Reaver. The Protoss player, for once, is going to have the range advantage in the battle. So uh, that's really going to help him out, especially with that explosive splash damage of 100. I mean, uh, it, it's just going to be so micro-intensive. Brat, once he gets up the ramp, is going to want to split his units immediately so that the Reaver he can minimize damage from. And it looks like he's got to wait for mines before he decides to push. Mines are done now. He's starting a, a turret. That's going to really hurt JF. Uh, just basically hold back the Reaver, but he's not pushing forward. He's playing defensively. Looks like Brat knows that uh, this this kind of play means that uh, Jeff will be either very unit heavy or very uh, Reaver heavy, and that means he needs to be careful. Reaver out in the shuttle. Looks like he says, "Forget it. I'm just going to counter," and he's moving that shuttle right into the main of Brad. Okay, uh, nothing there to defend. Tank coming. Siege is actually re researching. Looks like Brad is just taking a breather. Going to get siege and then decide to push forward. And he spotted that shuttle with his uh, barracks. Sending all the vultures back now. And now, uh, is there a turret under that? No, there isn't a turret under the eBay. Reaver gets dropped. Is it going to target? Oh, it targets the tank. First scarab goes off. Second scarab comes. Tank goes down. Oh, tank left with 2 HP. That's critical. And he's moving forward. Is he going to try to get that tank? Looks like Jeff is just focusing on cutting reinforcements, not trying to take out the SCVs. That could be a mistake. But he is keeping Brat back. But, I mean, what can he do? Look at his natural. It's all mined up, and he's got a turret there as well. Uh, Jeff in a very difficult position at this point. Yeah, once uh, Brat finishes his siege mode, which is right now, uh, it's going to be so hard for Jeff to break out. Brat has to siege right now. Jeff coming down to kill these mines. This is a very critical moment, and he sieged very late there. The tanks did not get the pot shots while the Dragoons cleared the mine, and Jeff knows this. He's pushing right up. He got rid of those mines, and he's targeting the tanks, but he is losing a lot of units. Here comes the Reaver. Reaver's helping to clean this up, and Jeff is just pounding out. This two-factory rush turned into a two-factory contain, and the contain, he just did not siege in time. But the turret takes out the shuttle. That's a very big deal. We see JF immediately start another shuttle after his second reaver. So, uh, you know, JF in the lead now after that. That was just a very strange uh, choice there by Brat. You know, he, he went for that hidden second factory, and then he went for a contain. I think he went for the contain because JF scouted it, which was a kind of clever move. But, uh, you know, JF definitely pulling in the lead here. Yeah, I thought JF made a mistake by not going after the, the SCVs, but really just whittling down the army, forcing Brat back, and then bringing that Reaver to flank with the with the Dragoons was very nice. Brat does get the factory back. He's floating it into his main, and he started a command center. But, of course, we just look at the supplies. That tells the tale. 56 uh, for Protoss and 36 for Terran. That's a really hard margin to overcome. Jeff has map control, so he can basically do whatever he wants, and he has a quick robotics, so he's got observers out now. So he can clear mines and basically do whatever he wants. Loading up the Reaver, he's got two Zelts in there. Let's see what Jeff can get done with this. And if he looks to expand, no, he's adding another gateway. Looks like Jeff might want to finish this right away, or is he simply worried that uh, Brat may be continuing the push without expanding? You know, uh, Brat right now, he's adding an academy. He's he got that second factory. He's just pumping, pumping units. I'm not sure what he can really do from here that's a very strong counter to what JF is doing. JF is playing very smart and look at this, he's going in, he's trying to harass with this shuttle, with the two zealots, with the reaver and uh, you know I don't know how much damage he's gonna do. Oh look at that, a nice turret under that eBay this time before he did not have a turret under the eBay so JF thought oh you know what he's trying to trick me and he got a lot of damage on that shuttle so this reaver is not gonna do very much damage at all. There's four turrets in that main base and just not too much that he can do with that reaver there. Yeah, I think uh, Brad is going to look to basically cut his losses and play defensively. Trying to set up a turret on his cliff. That gets shut down almost instantly. Uh, drops a Zealot to take the damage. Is the Reaver going to target? No, the Reaver does not get a shot off. Very nice defense by Brad. Sending his SCVs almost instantly. And JF just basically f sitting the Reaver there, forcing Brad to, to be really worried. Uh, he hasn't taken a third base yet at this point. Drops a Reaver again. Oh, is this Scarab going to go off? It does! 
that's huge that kills a lot of SCVs uh, looks like six SCVs at least killed there another scarab going off is this one gonna hit oh my god kills so many SCVs there's only two SCVs remaining this is ridiculous Brad okay down to only 48 supply Jeff sitting comfortably at 80 that reaver is worth its weight in I don't even know plated gold and wow this is ridiculous Jeff's reavers is putting on a clinic if I do say so myself just picking off units at the edge and uh, Brad okay basically back against the wall what can he do at this point you know what I don't know if he can do anything that I mean gold plated in gold that is a ridiculous reaver he's just killed uh, Brat with that he's killed so many SCVs Brat's economy is nil he's got two factories and I think he's gearing up for just a two factory attack he knows that uh, there's really no coming back from that and JF is playing very smart right now he's adding that fourth gate before a third base he's getting his zealot legs he's pumping a lot of zealots all he has to do right now is break the push that Brat is going to uh, going to bring at him. If he breaks that push, his economy is just worlds ahead, and it's going to be an easy victory. And we see Jeff still trying to harass with this uh, shuttle. Brat was going to make a turret, thought better of it. He says, "You know what? I have almost no minerals. I cannot be buying more defense here." And uh, you know, this Reaver, I'm not sure how much more damage is going to do. But look, at this—he's finding a little edge right there with the Reaver. He's trying to see if he can uh, pick something off. But, uh, no, it, it looks like he does not want to drop it. He's bringing his Dragoons up now. It looks like he wants to, uh, totally harass Brat trying to come out at all. I'm not sure what Brat can do here. Oh, wait a minute. Brat had another idea from what I had. I thought he was going to do some sort of two-factory, you know, all-in type of rush. But, no, he's adding two armories and a starport. And what this means is he's going to be a turtle for the rest of the game. He's going to turtle very hard going to get his upgrades and go for a late game win because he knows that there are no mid game timings left for him to do anything to JF. Yeah, and I think that really is is the right choice. We see a vulture at the bottom left killed that probe before it completed the pylon wall. So, I mean, Brat needs to do every little thing like this just to delay the expansions because if he just sits in his base and turtles, I mean, Jeff is going to max in about three minutes from now. He's already at 112, whereas Brad is at 58. And this Reaver is still getting kills. Takes out the turret. Brad is trying to push, but uh, if he oversteps a little bit, Jeff is just going to say, nah, -uh, and just walk in and crush that army. So he needs to be careful. Looks like Brad wants to set up another expansion. Shuttle coming in. Is it going to bomb? It looks like it wants to. It's thinking about it. Is it going to bomb? No, no, it's not. At least not yet. And uh, Jeff, he's just, he's playing so brilliantly here. I mean, he's making so many turrets be made. Sometimes cancel, sometimes pick them off. He's making Brat just sit on top of his tanks. He does not want Zealot bombs going off. And Brat is so far behind in supply right now. Look at this. Brat is sitting there at 64 supply. JF at 127. Looks like JF may be going for a killing blow right here. He's bringing his units up. He's charging in. A lot of speed Zealot's going right in. Not enough vultures to hold this off. Drops the Reaver very nicely. Gets a nice shot off on that tank. Shell goes down, but the Zealots are just cleaning up everything. And JF looks like he's going to kill Brat right here. Brat down to three tanks, a ton of goons, and Brat GG's. JF takes the game and goes up 2-1 with some brilliant Reaver play. Wow, what, a, what an action-packed game and what a response. I mean, he just had the perfect moves, sent his shuttle perfectly, and that Reaver, dear God. I, I mean, Brat's going to have nightmares about that well into his old age. I mean, just the amount of kills and the amount of pain it caused him, just annoyance. Uh, it was basically ridiculous. And Brad, okay, now against the wall, he's down 1-2. Uh, and JF just has that little bit of breathing room that can make your play that much better. You know, I, I think the turning point that game was when Brat came out early with those four Marines, the SCV and the tank, and he pushed that probe over to the side. JF ran the probe away, saw that factory, and so, you know, Brat did like a counter to the counter that he was expecting, I think. So, uh, you know, it was really a turning point in that game. And uh, with that being said, Game 4 is going to come up on Zodiac. Zodiac, I think, is hailed kind of as a Terran map. Game 4 inside bases can be accessed with tanks very easily. Uh, very hard to defend that. But, I mean, JF is known as the Shuttle Master, the Reaver Master. And those islands are going to uh, to play a big role for him if he decides to take that an open reaver, which I think he will. Uh, Brat does have a win on Zodiac, so he's shown he can get it done. Uh, and apparently Artosis is saying it's Protoss owns Terran. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with that, but okay. 
Oh yeah, it's it's a Protoss Zones Terran map. I mean, this map is so open to shuttle play. The the main is very long. Getting back in there to defend is very hard. It's just it's such a large main that a player like JF is just going to be very strong in this map. You're going to have to make a lot of turrets to keep his readers out. That's for sure. And I guess uh, we're going to have to see if if Brat changes his style once again to deal with that. We've seen kind of all the faces of Brat, okay? And we've seen the one face of JF. I mean, it's the Reaver face. That's pretty much it. Uh, so here we go. Game four on Zodiac. Brad O'Kay is facing elimination. Let's see what he can do. Let's hit it, Hop in.